the Mental refugee camp in Burkina Faso, the air is filled with music, drums and guitars. 13-year-old Amar and other children are taking dance lessons. It was here in Mental that this young Touareg discovered he had a passion for dance. First thing we do in the morning when we arrive is warm up. After that we go into the classroom and do our dancing and the moves you've just seen. The moves are a mixture of hip-hop and acrobatics. Dancing is one of the few activities here in the refugee camp. Mentau opened its doors in 2012. More than 13,000 people fleeing the crisis in Mali settled here, most of them Touaregs. The choreographer Sally Sanu and an NGO provide art and culture in refugee camps. Permettre à ces réfugiés de vivre sur patrimoine culturel, moi je pense que c'est I think the refugees need to share this cultural heritage through which the people can say that they're not dead, that they're still standing, that there's hope and that they'll be stronger the day they go home. I think culture can make that happen. The art and dancing is an enriching experience, but Celia says the idea is also to share, which isn't easy in a camp where there are people from different countries who live apart from each other. In the beginning, they were driven by curiosity, but soon, true talent emerged. Some of them are really professional. Those people have a chance to get away from it all through dancing, by becoming professional dancers. Some of the choreography illustrates what the refugees had to go through, the sadness of being far away from home, living through war, but it also speaks of a lust for life, despite everything. In my country, dancing and smiling means that you remember a lot of things. So our dance makes a lot of sense. The dance workshops culminate with an open-air show in the camp, highlighting all the effort the dancers have put in over the past two months. The best two dancers will get a scholarship to continue their training in Ouagadougou, perhaps a ticket to a new life outside.